Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. Thanks for having me today on your vloggy blog. <laughs> Is this like a, it's like a vlog if it's video, right? Vlog. It's a vlog. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yes. <laughs> We're doing all the vlogs and all the blogs. You know? Exactly. <laughs> um, so one thing my readers are always asking about is um, if there are healthier snacks that they can take in the car. A lot of them are doing road trips this summer. Oh, yeah. And so we always run into gas stations and fast food, and that's not really that healthy. So... Yeah, I would agree. I mean, I think one of the things that you can do to make sure that you're healthy while traveling is make the decisions yours instead of being forced, like staying somewhere where they have a menu that you're forced upon or going through like the quick and easy fast food and making your own decisions. So like you said, even going into a gas station, you can find something healthy. There's always that end aisle or that aisle of like bags of different nut mixes and they always have cereal of some type. I always think that those things are kind of the first go-to. Um, they're texture, they're crunchy, so it feels like you're doing something when you're chewing and there's protein and fiber involved so um, I think those are awesome choices and another way if you're on a road trip I mean you're gonna end up somewhere so the question is where are you staying I hope you're not staying on the couch somewhere because that's not comfortable you can always stay at extended stay America hotels what I love about them is it feels like you're at home uh, you have a full room free Wi-Fi and a kitchen like a kitchen kitchen Paula so if you can wow. see like I'm in the kitchen right now and this is actually bigger than my first kitchen in my first apartment. You've got a uh, range, microwave, toaster, pots, pans, utensils, bowls to mix with. And one of the things I truly love about Extended Stay America with their kitchen in every room is the refrigerator. It's a real refrigerator, right? A, a kitchen kitchen refrigerator. You can put a box of pizza in there, Healthy pizza, you know, the pizza with less cheese and some spinach and some chicken, you know, things like that, or going out to a restaurant and having a meal. Portion control is crazy, Paula. Sometimes I'll order something and it comes out and I'm like, who is going to help me eat this? And nine times out of ten, if you're staying at another hotel, you can't take it back to your room with you because how are you going to reheat it? Um, or they just take it away and it goes into the trash. So you've spent the money on that. Why not make it work for you? I love nothing more than having a meal out at a restaurant when I'm out of town on business or vacation. I'm staying at Extended Stay America Hotels and bringing the leftovers back to my room and kind of remixing it, you know? So a steak at night can turn into steak and eggs in the morning or a steak and cheese quesadilla. And these are the recipes that I'm sharing with everyone on awayfromhomecooking.com. They're free, they're simple, and they're healthy and easy to do when you're not staying at home. That's awesome. So do you have a favorite budget-friendly recipe that you always make when you're out and about? Yes, I love doing budget-friendly recipes. And when you think about it and you're traveling, uh, one of the things that you don't want to think about is eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner out. I mean, that's a lot of money plus you're tipping. Uh, so one of my quick and easy recipes that I love to do that's really cost effective is a quesadilla. I mentioned that before, but it's really simple. All you have to do is get some tortillas, some shredded cheese, and any protein. I love doing a shredded um, rotisserie chicken, but it's awesome if you do some grilled fish as well or some pan fried fish. You can also do that steak that I mentioned from the restaurant. And another way to kind of keep your budget in check is buying in season and fresh. That's the best way to always go. And when I do that, it's all about a nice salad. Either it's a fruit salad or a vegetable salad. And I've got one here I'd love to prepare for you. It's my panzanella salad. And this recipe is available on awayfromhomecooking.com. And panzanella salad is really simple. It's just tomatoes and bread. Those are the two main ingredients. And then you kind of go on from there. So I love texture and cucumbers. Lots of water in there so you know you're eating something good for you. Then I love to add in some raw red onions. And then like I said, one of the main ingredients is the bread. I get any kind of bread, day old or toasted bread, I mean, or um, ciabatta bread or like an Italian loaf and toast it up myself. Now what I also love about away from home cooking is the idea that you don't have to make everything. You can buy the salad dressing. It's not like I have to make a vinaigrette at home. I just pour that over the top. And what I truly love about this is the bread starts to soak up some of the dressing. It also soaks up a lot of that moisture from the tomatoes. And you've got yourself an awesome salad that's great right when you toss it. And it's also delicious, kind of like later on in the day or the next day. So this is very easy for you to prep in your hotel room. 
package up, take it with you, or come back from your long day riding rides at the theme park or having that business meeting, and you got something to eat. Look at that. Quick and easy That's Pantanilla easy. salad. Yeah. I mean, you can't make this in any other hotel room, and I love the idea that Extended Stay America gets it, right? <laughs> right. They know what we're doing. So they we do. Can go to away from home cooking to get more recipe ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, awayfromhomecooking.com. The recipes are there, tips on how to eat healthy and nutritional while you're on the way and while you're traveling. And one other thing that I truly love, and it's pretty awesome, the American Cancer Society has put their stamp of approval on some of the recipes on there so you know for sure they're good for you. So check it out. It's awayfromhomecooking.com. Free recipes. It's like a cookbook you don't have to pay for. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here today. Of course. Thanks for having me, Paula.